the American perspective in class, but outside of class, we get the European perspective, all right? So we're located in Malta, which Malta is in the European Union, it's in the Schengen zone. Who can tell me where Malta is? Has anybody done any research? Where in the world is Malta? We know it's in Europe, um, but where is it in Europe? Does anybody know? It's a, that's hard because, for example, if you go around the world, like even when I was in the United States, I was asking people, I was telling people, I'm going to go work in Malta. And they'd be like, where is that? I don't know where Malta is because it's such a small country, but it's a wonderful country. So it's just south of Sicily. You know, you have Italy, you have the boots of Italy, okay? Then you have an island called Sicily as part of Italy, right? We're just south of Sicily. Okay, so Sicily's like this big, Malta's like that big, it's very tiny. Um, but Malta's a powerful country, and also it's just a great place for students to study. So Malta is, it, it's its own country, it's in the European Union. Um, it used to be a British colony until 1964, but since then they have kept English as the official language. So what's great about Malta is you don't have to learn a foreign language to live in Malta. You know, like some of the other European countries you might be looking at, like Spain, France, Germany, you might be able to study in English, but once you get out of class, you've got to speak French or, you know, Spanish or German. And so you're going to have to learn not only English, you know, more English, but then you're going to have to learn a foreign language as well. In Malta, you just speak English everywhere. Everywhere you go, you can speak English to everybody. Everything's written in English. It's very comfortable for international students. Uh, I enjoy living there. Even though I love learning languages, I love learning Polish, but you know, it does. it is nice when you can go to a foreign country and kind of have the benefits of the culture and everything like that, but still speak English and um, not have to worry about language barriers, right? So it's nice. Um, I love living in Malta. Now, Malta is a very safe country, so you can tell your parents that. You know, when they first, they're going to say, where's Malta? And you say, in Europe. And then you're going to say, it's a very safe country, mom and dad. You know, it's very low crime rate. You feel very comfortable there. Malta's main source of income is tourism, right? So it's a little bit similar, like I heard Nepal is a big tourist destination for people now, right? <coughs> um, so is Malta. Malta is a very big tourist destination. Wherever you go on the island, you see lots of tour buses, just like you see here. You'll feel like, you know, you're at home, you see tour buses, you see people coming from all over the world to explore the island. So it's a happy place, like when I go out and I walk to work every day, I think this is a great paradise. People are coming here, they're happy, they're on vacation. Um, so it's a wonderful place to be. Um, also, um, Malta's economy is built on tourism and also on the internet game industry that I was telling you about before. And then also they have a lot of international companies that are coming into the island to create hubs there because it's an affordable place to create a hub. Like Microsoft has a hub on the island. Um, so uh, the economy is good. We have a low unemployment rate of 3.5%, which means there's jobs available, right? There's more jobs than there are people to handle them. So they often bring in foreign employees to work there. So what that means for you as an international student is you have a lot of good chances to work there after you graduate, okay? If you're ambitious, you network, you get, you know, you get connected, with people, it's possible you're going to find a job after you graduate. Also, when you're a student and you work on a, I mean, you are on a student visa, after the first three months, you are able to work part time in Malta. So you could work anywhere on the island. Um, you could work in hotels and things like that. So you have the ability to work 20 hours a week, which is great. Um, and our students have found jobs. Some of them work in cafes or restaurants. But some of them, like I have an MBA student from Ghana, he's working in a company as an accounting assistant. So the good thing about working in Malta is you only have to speak English, right? You don't have to learn a foreign language to work there. Um, in the workplace, everybody speaks English, so that's really good.
Today I am very much happy that I got student visa to start in Australia within 5.30 hours. Especially I like to thank Mr. Philip DC sir and the Right Path Career Counseling team who supported me a lot within my journey. They played vital role within my each and every step. Uh, also I like to recommend other uh, students who are planning to study abroad to visit Right Path Career Counseling. Thank you. Modern libraries, well equipped classrooms, proper counseling, individual guidance, excellent environment to learn. Career counseling means right path. Thank you, right path, for giving me right way. Study abroad, test preparation, visit us. Right Path Career Counseling, Right Counseling for Quality Education. Kutali Sadak Kathmandu.